And shifting focus now, controversial Islamic preacher Zakir Naik seems to have found another voice of support. This is in the AIMIM's Asaduddin Owaisi. Now, the MIM leader condemned the media trial of Zakir Naik and said that he should not be pronounced without the courts actually hearing the matter. Meanwhile, the Islamic preacher is expected to address a press conference on Thursday. Dr. Zakir Saab, I have heard a lot of names First, it was Digvijay Singh. Now, it is MIM's OAC. Despite mounting proof against hardline Salafist preacher Zakir Nayak, the list of his backers is only getting fatter. Asaduddin OAC believes the terror evangelist who asks Muslims to become terrorist is being hounded. Why is OAC's heart bleeding for the messenger of hate? Why is he speaking Nike's language? Has this vote politics allowed the hate preacher to flourish in India and abroad? But the news is tightening around the terror preacher and his global empire. The probe suggests that Nike's Islamic Research Foundation received almost 15 crore foreign funding over the last four to five years, mainly from Saudi Arabia and UK. The Home Ministry is examining how the money was spent and for what purpose, while also probing Foreign Contribution Regulation Act violations. Meanwhile, more proof that the hate preacher's words used to influence youth from across the country. It has now emerged that the Darbhanga module of the Indian Mujahideen had Zakir Nayak's books and write-ups as its study material. In fact, NIA had seized Zakir Nayak's book from a library in Darbhanga, which used to be frequented by the arrested Indian Mujahideen operatives and IM founder Yasin Bhatkal. Darul Kitab Sunnah, a library in Darbhanga, was frequented by alleged Indian Mujahideen operatives, had text, articles, and books written by Zakir Nayak. यहाँ से अलहरा पब्लिक स्कूल के पास एक लाइब्रेरी जला करती थी, जहाँ नए की टीम आई थी और बहुत सारा सीडी और उनका एक ये उनकी किताब लेके गई थी। The question for Nayak's posse of fans: Does proof against Nayak amount to a media trial? And the biggest question: Why did Nayak head to Africa instead of facing the storm back home? as India's investigation agencies investigate his inflammatory speeches and international charities to build a watertight case against him. With Kamlesh Sutar in Mumbai, Bureau Report, India Today.